Hi guys. Don't play with my choo choo. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Give it to them. Give it to them. Yeah. Give it to them. Give it to them. Woo! Look at me, baby. How are you guys? I love you. I love you guys so much. Welcome to my beautiful channel. They call me Obey Bay the Love Doctor. Ignore the, the, the there's a noise from my my fan, you know, because I need it. Like, no, I'm melting. I need it. I need it. But I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. No, let's just leave it. So anyway, ignore the noise, but I need air, guys. I need air. Yes, it's not easy when we're when I have to video with lots of lights and I'm oddly gasping for air. So yes, sometimes that makes my video has some wild crazy noise but bear with me on this yes i love you guys and welcome to my channel if you're new kindly subscribe i said it i am going to be up close and personal these days and that's why i need not see all the way back give it to them give it to them give it to them okay yes this is more relaxing so the topic today is first aid to having wild sex first aid to having wild sex. A lot happened these days. In fact, I see all over the news sometimes where I hear some people are having BDSM, they're getting choked up. Some people after intercourse, you know, they pass out and stuff like that. If you know you want to have crazy wild sex, then you need to consider this topics and this tips that I'm about to give you. So here are our first aid to having crazy wild sex. Number one is obviously make sure that you have water. Water! Where's my water? Anyway, have water right beside you. Anytime oh, he gasp your neck or you gasp his neck, you can choke. Make sure you have water. Even if you pretend to be okay, but you know that you felt something funny, in order not to, you know, restrict your airflow during intercourse or after intercourse, you are dehydrated or losing air or something. Make sure you just take a time to take water or once you are done, you take water or halfway gone, you take water. Yippee! That's number one. Good. You love it? If you love it, give me thumbs up right now. Let's go to number two. Number two is what? You have to come up with your first aid kits, guys. The first aid kits is necessary. Necessary. Especially for those who have BDS and sometimes they even tend to injure themselves. Sometimes they're done. I don't want you getting yourself infected. Let's say, for instance, the chain that you use to lock yourself in bed like this. <sighs> and while you're struggling and everything, which is your fun, but try to make sure that medically you're okay so what do you do you ensure you have maybe a first aid kit you get it opened and then you use maybe the small plaster or whatever it is here you know i don't need to open it anyway whatever it is you have there you could see there's plaster and there see towel tabs dry swab earplugs and stuff like that these are things that are very useful for you so if you are going to do that once you're done make sure you cover the wound because you don't want to be infected by tetanus or be infected by anything bacteria or during the intercourse you see your partner having any cough or anything funny please get your first aid put it there and continue having fun if it's something that is not so deep so that will help you not to have germs and stuff you know, getting into it even while you're having your intercourse because you might want to use lubricant, you might want to use stuff to have a great time during intercourse and having your wild, crazy sex. Yes, 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 yes. If you love it, give me thumbs up right now. And I want it now, like now. Yes. Number three way that you, like your first aid tip to having crazy sex is obviously to make sure you don't get too filled up, like not too um, fill up after eating, like you don't get too filled up before you get into that mood because you can choke. 
It can get to your nose. It can pass your mouth. You know, all these organs around our face is connected to here, to here. So whatever we take in can come out through our ears, through our nose, through our mouth, even through our eyes. You should please consider this. First aid tip that I'm giving you anytime anyway anytime anytime but especially if you are having this intercourse some people tend to feel like it's just sex i'm having i'm just having a great time why should i consider that put this first aid kit around you beside your bed you know around you put these things that i'm talking about around you as well it will go a long way for you do not eat, do not be so filled up, allow your food to digest a little bit before you get into that crazy, crazy, wild, wild sex with your partner. The interesting part. You guys know, I like to talk a lot about staying fit, staying healthy. A lot of people try to gasp for air. A lot of people cannot even last long in bed because they can't even perform. Make sure, first of all, you fit your erectile dysfunction, you fix your premature ejaculation, you fix a lot of things that is gonna help you doing intercourse. Because when you wanna have crazy gaga sex, one of the first aid for somebody like me who is your goddess is, do you know how to perform? Like, how do you come out crazy gaga sex with me without even packing, you know, without packaging yourself? Like, part of the first aid for me is for you to ensure that you are up to the task and you are not going to disappoint me. You're not going to waste my time. You're not going to waste my effort. You're not going to waste my creativity in bed. You're not going to waste my energy. Excuse me. You can't do that to me. So the first aid and the most interesting part for me is to ensure that you have great stamina, you're strong, you can last long, and if you don't have any of this, go to obabyherbs.com right now to order my herbs that is gonna give you boom, stamina to perform. And that's it. That's it, guys. So I hope you love this video and I hope you love this topic. If you have great ideas for me to treat you should let me know in the comment section. You guys know that I've limited the amount of the crazy, crazy wild things I do with my tools, my toys and stuff like that because I've been restricted a lot by YouTube and I have to bring it down a little bit. So if you want to join, you know, you want to keep seeing that other side of me or that video that brought you to my channel, you know, those crazy things I used to do, you have to subscribe to my private YouTube videos, visit obabyherbs.com to order that package is a monthly package and it's quite reasonable if you want more in a cozy environment where yeah. i might just allow you to touch your screen i might allow you to touch your, the tutu that i don't just allow you to touch meaning you're literally touching my tutu if you want to see more you have to go to only fans and to get my only fans because i want it restricted to specific persons who really need to see it that i want to spend my private moment with one on one nah you have to go to my instagram to dm me baby herbs on instagram or baby kids on instagram or kindly email me at obabyherbs at gmail.com yes guys i'm traveling again the last announcement hold on hold on hold on before you go i'm traveling again guess where i'm going if you are in ghana i want to go to an african country where i can relax and i know ghanaians are great people with great serene and obviously you are there as my customers i have a lot of you there and i know that coming there right now you're gonna be glad to see me if you want to order my apps or pre-order my apps so that i can come with it you need to pre-order send me an email or baby at gmail.com or kindly kindly send me a message or put in a comment session on this video and i am going to respond to you thank you so much guys i love you i hope you enjoyed this video of mine till i come your way again next time I like you guys to take care of yourself and each other. I love you. Bye, guys.